Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a quick unboxing to do for you. Um, just got home from work. I got to run back out the door to get my daughter in between here, and I found this package on the porch. Uh, I have left you live tonight with uh, Jared, and I think uh, Instagram buddy Jordan's going to come on. Uh, so that should be fun. So I wanted to have this for that. This is from Mojave Outdoor Inc. via Amazon. Uh, this is the Kaiser Sheepdog full size with the liner lock and the deployment hole. Unboxing knife is the Holt Blade Works Haptic. Carried this today, a little office carry. Uh, something's up with the tip. I had some plastic that I needed to just slice, like real simple slice to open thin ass plastic that a cord was in. And it like wouldn't go, it was like tearing the plastic. And then I took out my uh, Sham Weary and that thing just was super duper easy to get through. So something's up with the tip on this. Uh, I was gonna talk to Jared about it tonight on the live cause he's a sharpening expert. Um, I think it's just a little off or something. Maybe it needs to be cleaned up. We shall see, here it is. A opened Kaiser box, not a good sign. Hopefully that's just because of, uh, they put it in a box with some air bubble thingies, not uh, very protected. Hopefully it's not like a returned one or something. Looks brand new. Get your card, you get your uh, cloth. It's a Vanguard series, seems like, because uh, it's in the plastic, doesn't come with a nice case. This was $80, $79.99 or whatever. I ordered it like three weeks ago because I knew they were going to have them in stock and I figured I might as well get ahead of it. Uh, it is Black Micarta. So it's their stupid ass uh, bacon type Micarta they used on the October. Uh, it feels a little bit more well finished on this, which is weird because this is a uh, cheaper knife. This is in 154 CM, I believe. Uh, it has a deep carry clip, which is, looks really tight. Um, but works absolutely fantastically. Giant ass pivot, should be a D-shaped pivot. You have the tooling on that side. You have these three kind of milling lines right here for grip. Uh, and then you have the deployment hole. This is the CO1C, you'll see there, Sheepdog Knives Design. And there you go, 154 cm and the model number. Hopefully you can see that. If not, you'll see it in the first impressions. Big difference here, no flipper tab. Hole for deployment. It looks a little more like shapely than the original. Let's uh, give it a shot. Okay, uh, strong detent, interesting. Ergonomics are very good. Uh, jipping's pretty good. I like the blade on here. It's got this interesting black wash. I definitely prefer that over the terrible type of coating they had on the October. Uh, action is phenomenal. Flicked out of there real nice right-handed. I wonder if, I wonder if I'm putting pressure on the lock bar somehow left-handed. These very thin scales sometimes that happens. Man, that detent. Let's try this one again. No, I think it's just uh, me. Oh, guys, it is a crisp. This is one of the stronger detents I've felt on a production knife like this. Um, honestly, I don't think I've felt one this strong since the F5. Um, that honestly could hurt after a while, but I will take that 100% of the time. It feels smoother right-handed. It flies out of there a lot better. It feels like it's putting way more pressure on me left-handed for some reason. And again, that could be the lock bar that I'm, I'm locking it up a little bit. Yes. Or it's the angle of the hole for me. Yep, if I get down lower, it shoots out. Oh, this feels fantastic. No, no blade play whatsoever. Look at that droppy drop. Hold on real quick. I'm excited. All right. KPL, check out knifepivotlube.com. They sponsor my lives um, and they just make a fantastic product. I've said this before, but I totally recommend putting a drop of heavy 
on your detent ball on every knife um, that you can and honestly start with that don't even put anything on the bearings because um, honestly the detent ball is where it's at if you reduce the friction on that you're gonna reduce the friction all around and you're gonna get more droppies okay it's all about them droppies look at this look at oh now she's singing for me whoop it is whoop it is whoop <laughs> sorry look at that it's just dropping shut now oh i just had to give it a little home little little oh, oh, oh. okay i'm impressed i do wish a little bit i think the whole i ah, just what they could have done a different shaped hole i think it would have bit my finger a little better i seem to like no nah, i don't know what if i do the push the push works too so there's two methods to a spidey flick all right at least for me one is you dig you dig your finger in nail and all right you see how far it is my nail is in there and then you flick it out like that right but if the detent's too strong or the it's too sharp that's gonna bite and it's gonna hurt um then there's your push so what you do is you kind of put the fat of your finger like right under your nail in there and then you just kind of push it out and if the detent is strong enough which it should be the knife will just fly on out of there build up pressure shoots out and that obviously can hurt the skin under your nail depending on what's going on so anyway those are your two options oh my lord this feels good guys right now i don't know if there's a better 80 dollars knife out there um i love the asher knives um they come in s35 as opposed to 154 cm but look at that action i mean that is incredible <laughs> My Carta 154 CM in that action. I, I'm literally speechless right now. I am going to put this in my pocket right now. So the Holt is going to take a back seat <laughs> for right now. I can't believe I just said that. Um, but yeah, I got to go. I love you guys so much. I First impressions, or sorry, unboxing initial impressions. Fantastic knife. Blown away. Love it. Thank you, Kaiser, for doing that. Ergos are, dude, they're spot on. Oh, and you could choke up here. Look at that. Guys, this thing might be a home run. So, yeah, it doesn't feel cheap either. The October had this chintzy feeling to it. This doesn't have that rattly feeling. It just feels solid. It's probably because the scales are a little thicker, maybe. Um... But they did a great job, at least so far. I would, the detent could be a hair lighter, but I'm also thinking it's my finger placement, which you know you gotta have the right finger placement. I do. I am kind of wishing this hole was a different shape or angle or something. It just doesn't quite feel perfect. Like I'm gonna be able to do this all day, whereas like my field duty, the way it is, I just. I don't even feel it. It has a strong enough detent, yet I don't feel anything on my finger when I deploy it. Um, this sheepdog, I'm feeling it, right? Like I'm feeling it every time I fire it out. So uh, I'm hoping it kind of breaks in a little bit. Man, it really hammers though. So cool knife. Uh, first impressions coming. Love you guys. Hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.